Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be learning about equations with variables on both sides. And more specifically, we're going to be dealing with equations that have no solution. So before we get into that, what that means, we're going to solve this equation. So negative 2 plus 5x is equal to 5x minus 1. So first things first, I'm going to move all my constants on one side and all my variables on the other side so that I could solve for x. It doesn't really matter which side you move your variables to and which side you move your constants to. But I'm going to add 2 on both sides so that I could add my constants to the right side. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out because they're opposites. And now I'm left with 5x is equal to 5x. And here I have negative 1 and positive 2. Because the signs are not the same, I'm going to subtract and keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. And so now since I have all my constants on the right side, I'm going to move all my variables to the left side. So 5x minus 5x is equal to 0. And again, 5x and negative 5x, those are opposites, so they cancel out. That's 0 plus 1, which is just 1. So now I end up with 0 equals 1. And now we know that that's absolutely not true. 0 will not equal 1, no matter how many times you try to make it equal. So 0 is not equal to 1. So here we have no solution. because there's no number for x. There's no number that we could substitute x that would make this equation true because zero is not equal to one and no matter what number we substitute for x, we'll never get these two expressions equivalent to each other. So there's no solution. So here we have another example, x plus two is equal to x plus five. As you could already tell, if I try subtracting by x on one side, we'll see that both x's cancel out. So I tried to subtract by x to get all my x's on the right side, but they both ended up canceling out. So here I'm left with 2 is equal to 5. But since we know they're not equivalent, here we also have no solution. because there's no number that I could put here that would make these two equal to each other. So I have x plus 2 is equal to x plus 5. If I did 1 plus 2, that would be 3. 1 plus 5, that's equal to 6, and that would still not be equivalent. Even if I substituted 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 5 is 5, so there's no number that I could substitute for x that would make these two expressions equivalent to each other. And so we have no solution. There's no possible x value that would work in this case. All right, so same thing here. I have 2x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 5. And if I tried subtracting both sides by 2x to move my variables to the right side, this cancels out this cancels out, I'm left with negative 1 is equal to negative 5. And so we know that negative 1 is not equal to negative 5. So again, we have no solution. All right, and here we have our next example. So first thing we have to do is combine our like terms. On the left side of this equation, I have 2x and positive 3x, so that's 5x plus 1 is equal to negative 7 plus 5x. So now if I try moving my variables to my right side of the equation, I'm going to subtract 5x, this cancels out, subtract 5x, so I'm left with 1 is equal to negative 7, and positive 5x and negative 5x cancel out. So since we know that 1 is not equal to negative 7, here again we have no solution. Okay, 
So no solution means that there's no possible number that we could substitute for x to make these two expressions equivalent to each other.